So all we're doing is bringing that foot into neutral, quick little pull and push, and then we're going to go into the talus. We we'll bring that foot between the knees. This one's only one a little bit tender. Quick pull, good. And then just get through the toes here. Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group, Oak Brook, Illinois, and I'm here with one of our rehab assistants, Stephanie. Uh, so Stephanie has started running a little bit more now, getting back into the orange theory, things like that, but she's been complaining more of plantar fasciitis, so pain at the very bottom of that foot. It's a lot more high impact, a lot more running, so the tissue's just not ready for it yet. So we started putting her through some exercises. She's been doing some scraping on the bottom of her foot, soft tissue stuff with the massage therapist, and then obviously stretching that plantar fascia plantar fascia and then strengthening it as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys right where that plantar fascia runs and then show you how we adjust the foot to help relax those feet, get them stronger so that we can handle the workouts a little bit longer through the summertime. So let's get you going. We're going to have her go face down or face up rather right here. Slide those shoes off for me please. So then just to show you guys real quick here, the plantar fascia, I'll have Liz come over here and show you real fast, is runs in the bottom of the foot. I'm going to lift your leg here, Steph. So plantar fascia starts right here in the bottom of the heel, and it's just a soft tissue that comes up and spreads and attaches up here just underneath those toes. So what happens is when we start running more, that gets tight. It cramps down on the feet, and a lot of patients will complain that, hey, my first couple steps in the morning are really painful, and that's because they tighten up overnight, and then as you step in the morning and try to spread that foot, that fascia goes to spread and it's just painful because it doesn't want to do that. It's like having a really tight hamstring and forcing it into a stretch. Same idea, so that's why we got to get this to relax. So, let's show you how we adjust the feet here. Miss Stephanie, a couple different bones in the feet. And we're going to start with the heel right here. So, all we're doing is bringing that foot into neutral, a quick little pull and push, and then we're going to go into the talus. Good navicular and then cuboids out here we we'll bring that foot between the knees this one's only one a little bit tender quick pull good and then just get through the toes here good and then the left one here right one same thing we're starting with that heel which is obviously the big one because that's where that plantar fascia is starting touching base in good Good, and then cuboid in the toes. And like I said, Stephanie's been doing a great job with the exercises so far. Beautiful. Go ahead and sit on up here. So when it comes to the plantar fascia, the biggest thing is we got to get that foot adjusted. We got to get those joints moving. But then also we have to start stretching and getting the rehab in there to loosen up that soft tissue and make it stronger. So if you've been dealing with plantar fascia, you're starting to run a little bit more, or you know anybody that is, give us a call at that number below. If you're watching the YouTube, hit the notification bell, like, follow the page, Facebook, Instagram, like and follow. We'll catch you guys in the next video.